Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel and the Saturday Stash Dive. I am going to dig into my stash and mostly use scraps. I am going to use a 6x6 six six paper pad that just has a few, not very many papers left in it. Those two pieces were scraps, and I put them together and made sure they were 12 inches, and they're going to be the base of my layout. And there's my, what is left of that little pad. There isn't much left, but I am going to use some of it on here. I thought I'd use that border right there, but when I tossed that other part aside, I changed my mind and decided to use another part of it. So I'm cutting it off, but I won't be using it for a little while. Uh, I'm going to use that part right there where I'm fussy cutting the little tabs and they say the days of the week i decided i needed to go ahead and put a border between these two and since the one of the bigger scraps i have is orange well i think orange with white polka dots it might be the opposite we'll see in a minute but i thought well if i'm going to use that i want to make the border there yeah it's orange with white polka dots and I'm in the I'm gonna end up cutting a little smaller than I intended. It kind of looks like a frame, but I was trying to make it small enough for the title. I knew what my title was going to be, and I thought that's gonna take up a little bit of space, so I end up cutting it a little smaller than I wanted. I think I could have got away with cutting it a tiny bit bigger, but once you cut it, you cut it. <laughs> um yeah, here's where I go cut it. Just a little more than I planned. And see how it looks like it's just a layer behind there? But I'm going to make it work. I am. I am. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, the two pictures are of my grandsons. And I had, this is out on my deck. I bought them these bubble guns. And they didn't work very well, <laughs> in case you are all wondering. I don't know if they were pulling the trigger too fast or what. I didn't go ahead and play with them. I probably should have. But when they would make bubbles with them, it would be like a big glob of bubbles instead of just a bubble here and there and floating out. They just keep coming out of the gun and keep coming out of the gun. But they enjoyed them. They laughed and had fun with them. And another thing I like about these pictures, their mouths are blue. Yeah, uh, they had eight candy right before then that I had got. I hardly ever have candy. My grandkids complain that I don't have candy at my house, but I had candy that day. It was left over from Easter and had been sitting here for a few months, and I told them they were going to have to eat it, and so they did. No argument. <laughs> they went ahead and ate it. Um, these are, this is a bubble dye, and I didn't I thought about using the one, the whole thing as a bubble dye, so it looked like a glob of bubbles like their gun does, but I thought, the way I've got my title on here, where am I going to put a glob of bubbles? So I went ahead and cut them apart, fussy cut around some edges of them, lost a few in the process because this is pretty thin little bubbles, but yeah, I went ahead and cut it apart and spaced them out on here. And see all those circles? They're from the insides of the bubbles. I guess they're really the positive part of it. And I thought, well, I can go ahead and use them. So I inked them up, and that's Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. I inked them up, and I'm going to put them around the page, and some are going to be on foam tape. Well, actually, I think most are going to be on foam tape. But I'm just going to put them around the page on that half of the page. And uh, I like how it turned out. But I'm going to do something later I'm not going to like as well. Uh, I was being, well, meeting a goal later. And yeah, I'm going to not like what I do later. I wanted to use this piece right here, and it was just all about summer stuff, you know, things to do in the summer. And I'm not going to end up using it. I'm going to find other stuff to put on my layout. I'm pulling that sticker off there, and boy, was it sticky. I believe it was from an Amy Tan sticker book a long time ago, and I went ahead and cut them apart and stuck them in the little, in the iris container, there's a tray for the ephemera and stuff. 
and the book didn't fit very good so i just cut them apart what was left in the book there wasn't much left and put them in there and this uh soda bottle with straw yeah i know you probably some most probably say pop bottle but in the area where i live we in soda bottle anyway i put it on there i put it on white cardstock first to make it a little thicker because i did think about putting it on foam tape but then i decided no i'd put the ice cream on foam tape since their mouths are blue the you can tell they were eating or drinking something so i thought well i'll put a few snacks over here and this says good times and it has a oh like a snow cone slushy kind of thing with the piled up stuff and uh i'm just digging through here trying to find other things to put on here and i remembered when i seen it <laughs> that border that i cut out so i'm gonna put it on there and to make the ends look more finished i used my one eighth inch corner punch and then I'm just going to tuck it behind there just to give it a little more layering on there. I found these stickers and they're simple stories. And I put this is what it's all about and an arrow. And it kind of looks like an upside down house because it's so chunky. But then it has the heart right side up. So you can tell it's an arrow. And I looked at and looked at and finally said go ahead and put three white stars on there i didn't think it was showing up good enough it it was on the photo but i want to draw more attention to it so i thought well i'll put a little more and here's where i wished i hadn't done it i put the noodle drops they're not as bad as they could have been they started out pretty bad and i used my pick and messed with them for a while and but the first couple was horrible the two at the bottom it was stopped up and i unstopped it and <laughs> then i went to use it and like the second one another glob came out and yeah i had a little bit of trouble with them from a distance it don't look too bad and hopefully once it gets in the album it won't look too bad <laughs> but yeah there i am trying to straighten some of them up because they had pretty high peaks and I did get rid of most of the peaks. The peaks weren't a problem. It was just the globs on the bottom too, really. And a, an occasional glob. It's, and they're stiff globs because I pulled one out and it was thick. And yeah, it's from setting so long. That was my goal to use them. I've got quite a few. I bought them all at the same time when Nouveau Drops first came out. So yeah, they're old, but i have used them on my layouts here and there and i had that bottle sitting there right next to me in that little brown box that you can see at the edge of the screen for me to use for like two months or three and i think this is this is the first time i use this color there's like three bottles in there and this is the first time i use this color but yeah i used it so i met a goal so i'm happy but that's it. That's my layout. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today for Saturday Stash Dive and digging out scraps. And Sorry, I can't tell you what most of it is. I know it's probably Simple Stories, Amy Tangerine. Oh, and there's my title. Just for fun, they pulled out the big guns. But if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. But I hope you have a happy, scrappy weekend. Take care and stay safe. And pull out your scraps. Bye.